guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. Today I am going to show you how to properly or correctly, whichever word you want to use, show you how to stretch your tricep. And that's important because A, sometimes it gets tight, and B, that can actually play a role in tennis elbow and golfer's elbow because of where that tricep attaches, right down at the elbow. And tennis elbow is on this side, golfer's elbow is on this side, so they're attaching in very similar spots. So there's a couple steps to actually get this tricep loosened up, and it's not stretching to begin with. Stretching actually comes last. If you have tightness in that fascia, that top layer of tissue or knots in the muscle, you need to get rid of those first, get that fluid flowing nicely, and then you can stretch. So I'm going to disappear one moment. And then I'm back. <laughs> We're going to use the derma edge to start to gently release that fascia. So notice I'm going in one direction. And this is the direction that's bumpiest for me. That's why I'm going in this direction. You don't need to press too hard. You don't need to cause bruising or pain. Just until it feels a little less bumpy or a little looser. You can move that arm around and go, ah, yeah, feels better than you know. Um, once you do that, you're going to look for those knots, okay? So those really tight, painful areas. Once you find one, you can either use your knuckle, or you can use your thumb or your finger. For me, it's easiest to use my knuckle. You'll actually start with a straight arm, get that knuckle in there, kind of pin it down, and then bend into that elbow. Let it go, and then release. And you're gonna do that until you go, hey, that doesn't feel so bad anymore. And then you can move on to another spot. Hopefully you don't have more than a couple at a time. All right, so we're gonna do that gentle release first, then get into those knots, and then lastly is that stretch. So where people tend to go wrong with the tricep is this is what they do for a stretch, right? Which honestly, I don't even really feel that much right now. And one of the reasons is because most people think of the tricep as just kind of stopping in here. But we have three heads, right, tricep, to that tricep, and one of them goes all the way into the shoulder blade. So you actually need to get that shoulder blade down in order to really stretch that tricep. So one of the easiest ways, I think, to do it is if you actually use a wall in your other hand to help push down that shoulder blade. So you're going to angle towards the wall. I'm going to grab right at like the meat of that shoulder blade and press down, and then I'm going to lift that arm up. And you should go, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and again, just let yourself relax into this stretch. If you can hold it for a minute, great. Otherwise, just let yourself hold it as long as you comfortably can, okay? So that's the order of treatment. Do that gentle release, then do that little pin and stretch, and then the actual tricep stretch. So that takes care of the tricep. What you want to make sure of though too, especially if you're dealing, whoosh, dealing with tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, is that you are getting that shoulder blade to release too. I will link the video for the golfer's elbow and the tennis elbow that I have so that you can see some more techniques in there. But because that tricep not only attaches to the elbow, but also into that shoulder blade, if this is tight, that's gonna mess all this up too. So one of the easiest ways to do that, I'm gonna disappear again, and then back again in case you miss me, um, is taking a tennis ball in a sock, and it doesn't have to be this cutesy little turtle one, but I like it. And then you're going to go, and this is just to help support it so that you don't have to worry about the ball slipping off, but find that kind of tender spot. And I'm kicking things. And then grab onto that so you don't have to worry about that ball sliding away. And now I'm just rolling over it. And again, same idea till it feels a little bit better. So that's one quick, easy way, too, to get that shoulder blade, which, like I said, really can affect that whole arm. So that's your process right there. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button or that thumbs up button. Share it with any friends and family that might benefit from that. And stay tuned for more. Thanks.